ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Okay, wow. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm a little stunned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Fixed Land and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. That was uh, a really, really cool intro to this game. Um, clearly not, not a little bit inspired by HP Lovecraft. Um, this is a game I've wanted to play for, for some time. Uh, I've seen it described as a uh, challenging, roguelike, turn-based RPG, and it was it was well received. Um, and anyway, I, I finally it finally came on sale on uh, GOG, so I've purchased it, and I'm ready to give it a try. So let's jump right in. Click the letter to begin. <laughs> Alright, which letter is it going to be? Let's try letter number three. Activate DLC. There was this free um, DLC uh, on GOG as well that I downloaded, the Musketeer. So, activate DLC. So yes, we want that, and check. Select campaign. Radiant campaigns, while still challenging, are adjusted to be faster and more forgiving than normal. Suggested for your first Darkest Dungeon experience. Normal campaigns are the original settings for the game. While there is no time limit to win, the campaign will be longer and more challenging than Radiant mode. Stygian. Stygian campaigns are not for the faint of heart. Expect no quarter, no forgiveness. You must conquer the evil within a time. You, you must conquer the evil within a time and hero death limit. Within a time and hero death limit. Also, many gameplay settings are locked. We're not going to be doing that our very first time around. The question is do we do radiant or darkest? Ah, uh, suggested for your first experience, or the quote original unquote settings. Ah, 
What the heck? Let's try the original. Okay. I see. So these are... Oh. I guess I started the game. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Okay, the, the old road. With, with the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. We're not even there yet. <laughs> Let's see if we actually even make it to the hamlet. Proceed. Oh, it must be loading. Okay. Click to continue. Okay. Map navigation. That's good. So part of this episode, obviously, is going to be uh, learning the game. You are currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Okay. Click on the map display, which is... Where? Let's see. So this is Renaud. Where is the map display? Tab, okay. Tab brought up the map display. So, move to this room. So we have, who do we have? Dismas, a highwayman. And Renaud, 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 a crusader. He is a crusader. <laughs> okay. Flintlock, rusty blade, worn overcoat. Let's see. Just checking out. So a bunch of stats. A battered long sword. Rusty Hauberk. So they're They're not in super terrific shape. Oh, so this is the map. We can change our Well, let's let's move along. Move to this room. Okay. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Okay. Hallway movement. While in a hallway, press. <coughs> excuse me. Press D to move forward, A to move back. Okay. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. Okay. So he is selected. So I'm. Um, move back. I see. So we can move him back. We can use the. Oops! Oh no, I didn't want to do that. D don't be afraid. Well, you are afraid, but... So we're going to move ahead. Until we encounter... We plan to... Kill the enemy. Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon, and then click on the highlighted target. 
on a highlighted target. Click a skill icon. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Okay. So this, these are the skills. Must be. Open vein one. <laughs> Alright, it's so a melee attack. Can we see anything about this guy? Yes, a brigand cutthroat. Human. Twelve hit points. Bunch of resistances. No skills. He looks... Doesn't look like intelligence is super high. Let's see. So I'm taking it. We can't do that. Can't do pistol shot, perhaps. So can we change who's attacking? No. Okay, Dismas. So we can move. If we pass our turn, he'll suffer stress. It's another thing I read about this game is that um, they can they are uh, the um, your party members can suffer psychological effects, stress. Uh, Etc. We'll find out, I'm sure, more. Grape shot blast. Let's just try the melee attack. As we learn. And then we click on him. Ha! So he's bleeding. Now it's our crusader's turn. Melee. Zealous accusation. Stunning blow. Wow, I'm going to have to do some reading on what all these abbreviations mean. Let's let's smite him, shall we? Eradicated. Loot. Each eye. Victories mount. So too will resistance. I expect as much. Each item, if you take it, will occupy space in your inventory. Oh, great. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory, too. You have found... 25 gold. Of course, we're going to take it. We have to, we have to eat, too, as well, uh, also, as well, too, eh? Eat to restore health and stave off hunger. One unit per meal. Okay. Well, let's just move along. Until... Oh my. <laughs> Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Wow. Mushroom. They get a little uh, fungus issue. A fungal scratcher. Fungal, all, fungal artillery. Okay. Wow, this is really uh, quite involved. All right, let's. I should have done the the easy mode. <laughs> let's try a pistol shot. Oh boy. Stunning blow. This is going to take some time to figure out, isn't it? So he's stunned. Monsters with high prot, P R O T. Some monsters have high prot, which absorbs attack damage, protection, I guess. Okay. The protection absorbs attack damage. DOTs, Departments of Transportation. Now, Blight and Bleed. Um, ignore. So blight and Bleed ignore protection and are more effective and are effective means to take down those these highly armored opponents. Blight and Bleed. Oh boy, this is uh, quite involved now, isn't it? 
dodge. Stun buff. Okay. Do we have limited ammo? Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Accuracy. Critical chance. Damage. Dodge. Protection points. Speed. Plus two quirk. I wonder what that is. Uh... Let's, maybe this will this work against a group? Yes, it appears so. Let's try this. I, I guess I really don't know. Let's just give it a shot, so to speak. Yeah, okay, it got two on those. So he dodged. Groping swipe. Ow. Okay. Now it's your turn, buddy. This guy. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. I'm trying. When most monsters die, they leave corpses. Stands to reason. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use ranged skills, push pull skills, and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. So they're... I guess the only downside to just leaving them there is that they are obstacles. Temporary obstacles. So there... It is... Huh. So is that going to block our shot? Um, let's try this again. Zero dodge for some reason. Okay, let's try... Let's see what this does. This is a ranged attack. Zealous Accusation 1. Just going to experiment a little bit. See what, what does what. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Not quite. Oh boy, here it comes. It eats away at my flash. Uh, let's see. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. He's already almost dead. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so... Let's try a pistol shot, just for grins. Mm, can't do it, because... For some reason... That I don't know... So I can't even select this one, but I can select this one, but it doesn't work. 
we out of shot? I, I don't know. Anti-venom now, he says. I don't know how to help you. Okay. Gold. Citrine. A yellow... Yellow like fading hope. Oh, it's... They really need to punctuate, I think, there. Yellow like fading hope. There, there's a comma that needs to be added. Crest. A, a sig, sig, sigil... Sigil of honor earned by family actions long since past. Okay. So that's our inventory and map. So we're still on our way to the hamlet. Let's proceed. Interactive objects, curios. While exploring, you will often find inter interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Someone has camped here recently. Cool. Someone left valuables inside the tent. Nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Jade, dull green, comma, like rotting flesh. And 500 gold. Okay, I'm... I'll be as quiet as I can. Huh, interesting. Dim light, 70. Oh, we can change the amount of torch? Let's see. Shift click to reduce torch. Shift control click to snuff out torch. Let's just play with this for a second. So the light level, oh, this is the light level along this line, so 70%. How cool is that? That is really neat. Okay. So I take it dim light, increases stress, increases monster crits, increases dodge and scouting. Plus, plus, plus monster surprise. Let's, let's try reducing it. But then how do we increase it again? The torch. The light is fading. The current torch level greatly affects many mechanics in the game. The darker it gets, the harder things the harder things get, but the better the rewards. Right click on a torch from inventory to boost the light back up. Okay. Right click on a torch from inventory. There is no torch in the inventory. Huh. Hmm. I don't... Don't know. Don't know how to do it. Okay. We'll figure it out. Let's just move along, shall we? Oh dear. Who do we have here? A brigand bloodletter. And a brigand fusilier. Fusilier. Okay. Let's give this a try. Pistol shot. Oh, uses remaining. They have a certain... He only can do this so many times. I've used 
half of them already, apparently. reduced to zero HP, they are at death's door. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. Well, I would like to. Okay, so maybe he has to eat. Like that? How do I get him to eat? Maybe they can't eat during that combat. I think that's what it's telling me. Smite. Stunning blow. Uh, this a melee attack, ranged attack, melee attack. blank shot. Okay. This is no place for the weak or the foolhardy. Clearly. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff going on that I don't understand. <laughs> uh So he can't use these for some reason. That makes our choice easy. Okay. He's almost dead. Rain of whips. That sounds painful. <laughs> this is clearly not an easy game. Can't staunch the flow! Attack! Oh man. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. You say that, but I'm at death's door. He rushed a shot, which he dodges, apparently? Okay. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Whew. Deed, scriven records of land grants in generations past. Not sure what good that is. A crest, 25 gold and jade. Completing a quest. After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Okay. So maybe we can heal. Quest complete. So return to Hamlet. I, I think we're going to return because we're nearly dead. Let's do that. Okay. There's our treasure. So we got extra gold, and this here's the stuff we collected, and we collected some heirlooms. Uh, okay. Plus two resolve experience points. Renaud died. Apprentice level one. So he's still stressed, 44 out of 200. What does this do? Compulsive. 
Suffers intense need to do specific actions. <laughs> He's got OCD. How interesting. Uh, let's return to town. Afflictions are removed by placing a hero in any stress treatment activity. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Hmm, okay. Almost didn't make it last time. So what are we looking at here? The darkest estate. Activity log. Week one. The ruins have been... Uh, the ruins has been unlocked. Dismiss is now Apprentice Highwayman. Level one. Dismiss su successfully escorted you to the hamlet, but Renaud met his end on the old road. Caretaker goals. Oh, th we are the caretaker. Right? Yes. I cannot take too many more like the last something. Let's see. Oh my, we got a few. <laughs> okay, we're not going to read all these right now. Um, I think this is a good place to wrap up this first episode. Uh, we did survive. What did we learn? We learned that the game... All right, I can do one more something. Um, we learned that the game is... Uh, f a fairly deep, um, seems to have fairly deep RPG combat elements. Um, they're going to take some learning and getting used to. Um, the art style is just really, really neat. Uh, I really like it. <laughs> He's just going to keep mumbling to himself. So thank you for watching. Uh, we'll, we'll certainly be returning to this game. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I appreciate your watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.